Hey YouTube, it's Matches860, and we're talking today about a few extra things that you might want to have available when you're doing your major pipe cleaning. And, you know, people ask, how often do you do your major cleaning? And it really depends on how much you're smoking the pipe. Um, because we're talking about uh, getting buildup out. Obviously, if you don't smoke it, there's no buildup. I'm going to use this Peterson today as a prop. Uh, not only because it needs cleaning, but there's a few um, cleaning oddities about a Peterson, and I have some extra items here that I'll show you uh, that are helpful for really cleaning these up. Put that away for the moment. If you don't have a uh, set of cleaning tools for a pipe, you might want to look into getting one. I have one here, which I'll try to hold up without losing the pieces. Uh, it's called a pipe service kit. And I'll show you a couple of the tools that I use most often. Um, obviously, we all know the reamer. And I was surprised, um, I got at least one person, uh, when I showed this in one of the last videos, they had never seen one before. Um, of course, there are many different kinds of reamers, but anyway, it comes with that. Um, we talked about cleaning cake out of the bowl, and... Um, I suggested... Uh, what the old timers did was to use a knife and I really didn't recommend that but this comes with a very very dull it's almost like a butter knife uh, that won't damage the walls of the pipe bowl really good for um, hand work if you don't want to uh, use the reamer or if you use the reamer and you've got some high spots Something that I actually keep out of the kit and on my desk all the time is this. It's a drill bit with a handle on it uh, for cleaning out your airway. Uh, it's amazing how quick the airway clogs or even if you get uh, some tobacco that gets pulled back into it and stuck in the gunk that's already in there. This is great. Um, if you didn't want to get one of these kits, um, I would recommend that you have something uh, that's similar to the airway cleaner there. You can make your own uh, tool out of a coat hanger. I just cut a few inches from the coat hanger, and in this case I made a little... Uh, sort of a handle type thing for cleaning the airways out. And I always have one of these um, in my little uh, pipe bag that I carry around. It fits into one of the little pockets. Um, it's helpful to have a brush that'll go down. Um, in the case of the Peterson here, um, it has an unusually large uh, airway in the stem. Uh, a couple of my Savinelli's have the same thing. This will go right in there and it will help to clean out some of that built up stuff. So that's it on that. Um, speaking about the Peterson, um, this has the reservoir in the bottom of the shank um, and 
about the only way to clean it really well that I know of is to take a Q-tip, uh, dip it in some cleaner, put it down in there, and the Q-tip is almost the size of the reservoir. And that does a really nice job. Uh, you can also, these are good for a lot of different things. Uh, you can pick up prep pads, alcohol prep pads, probably at the pharmacy. And you can roll up one of these pads so that it fits either down in the uh, shank or in your mouthpiece. Uh, that does a great job for cleaning the walls out also. Uh, we mentioned before recycling your toothbrushes. These are great for uh, especially if you have rusticated or sandblasted pipes. Uh, it's really tough to clean in the, the nooks and crannies so I always keep a few toothbrushes around. Um, as far as the silver or the aluminum or if you happen to have gold bands, uh, if you don't want to go out and get jeweler's paste which is kind of expensive and the tube doesn't really last that long if you're doing a lot of work, uh, I use Brasso. You can get it at uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, hardware store and what I do is open it up after shaking it of course put a little bit on a cloth and then put it on the uh, silver band and this does just as good a job I think as the jeweler's paste Not too bad. So, I think I covered everything that I wanted to in this. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a question in the comment. Uh, I really appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks.